Janie, welcome to another video on my channel. I am very excited about today's video, and I know I always say that, but I am going to show you guys all of my findings from my latest thrift store vlog, which is the one where I thrifted through um, on a road trip to celebrate my 21st birthday. And the vlog, we went to several different thrift stores, and I found a lot of really, really exciting dolls. So I am very excited to share with you everything that I found because it's quite a variety of things and I honestly don't know how to break all this up. But we have some box dolls, we have furniture, we have big dolls, small dolls, like everything in between. So I think the first thing that I will start with is the um, like the non-doll items and then I'll move into the like boxed or packaged items and then I'll move on to the dolls themselves I think is how I'm going to do this. And it's probably going to take... Two parts because there is a lot here which is really exciting but without further ado because of that I'm going to go ahead and get into it and everything is all kind of mismatched so like everything that I found is not in order of which I found it so I found this at like the third or fourth thrift store it was the one with all of the um like the bins with the with the bags um and this looks to be like some furniture in here um and the pack the package says um purple chair slash shelf um and it was six dollars and fifty cents and this is a very interesting like way to package dolls i've never seen it this way before but it's like very difficult to open I and mean, i'm gonna have to like cut it open i think um because i don't know how else to do it and then i can kind of just rip it open from there but it's kind of hard to open and then inside of that because if that wasn't secure enough there's also a bag so there's a lot and the first thing is this really cool purple chair. Um, I don't know what it belongs to, but it's very nice quality. It's like purple and like solid and sturdy, and then it has like brown legs. Um, on the bottom it says Disney, so I think it might belong to Disney, but it's a very nice chair, um, and it looks like it would fit a regular like 12 inch doll. And then the next thing, and I believe it comes as like a part of it, um, is this shelf, and it's like double sided, so it has it's the same on both sides, and the bottom doesn't say Disney. Um, so I don't know if it's actually part of the same thing, but it seems to be. Um, but it's a very nice, like, kind of pear-shaped bookshelf with a really pretty, like, design on it. And I think it opened, well, there's, like, a thing on this side. I don't quite know what this is for. Um, but it's a very nice shelf, and I really like it. It's very, very heavy and sturdy. Um, and I'm very excited because doll furniture is super fun. The sad part is, is that it does have um, broken legs. So if it sits, like it's going to sit or like on an angle, but that's okay. I can either just take the other two legs off or I can make new legs. Either way, still pretty cool. And then next, um, I found, and this is a packaged item. I found this color reveal accessory for $2.50 and it's never been opened, which is really cool. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it comes in this little package um, with sunglasses that are shaped like sunglasses. And it opens up, hopefully, in theory, if I can get it open. It opens up and it has a big mysterious package on the inside. And it has a bunch of different accessories in here, I think, which is really fun. And I think I might have to dunk this stuff in water. I'm not going to do that now, but um, that's still pretty fun. Yeah. Ooh, so there's like a purse, like a fanny pack, which is really cool. Has like the Barbie logo on it. And then there's also, so these are like blind bags, like Barbie blind bags. There's also a pair of purple sunglasses, which are very fun as well. And then there's another package, which is cool. So there's lots of different things in here. There is, I don't know if this is, I think it might be a, like a bracelet it has like this little ring and it's this purple bow which is very cute and then the final package is kind of bigger oh and it's a little bit and i will have to like rinse it in order for it to be like shown which one it is but it's this cute little pet and it also comes with this little um like little promotional pamphlet i guess i don't know um but it has like the different um color reveal like accessories and like different people. I actually do have this purple Kelly and this is the one that I got. So I got 
this and it also has instructions on the back but I got a little puppy which is very cute and then the next um not doll related item and I think the last one is this which is um the world's smallest um Malibu Barbie um which is really cool and I love this I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the package. Um, you can get these at like gas stations and also at like Cracker Barrel, but I just thought it was really fun that it is a, like a doll sized one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and I got it for $3.50 by the way. Here is the house and it is a lot of fun. Um, it's just this cute little mini plastic house. Um, it's yellow and white and has like a red or brown top and it has like plastic um, paper on the back. And then we have the tiny, tiny little um, Malibu Barbie. So miniature and so cute. And it also came with um, like some stickers and paper stuff. Um, there's also like a promotional thing of like all of the world's smallest things you can get, um, which is great. Um, there are so many that I would love to get, but um, there's a promotional thing. And then also some really fun little like sticker furnishings that you can use on the house to sort of furnish it which is really fun and I thought it was so cool that I found this used but it was still in the package um, and it was just such a fun find um, but that is all of the like the non um, doll related items but I do have some more packaged items and I found them all at the same thrift store um, at the same thrift store where I found um, actually all the stuff that I've shown you so far um, and it's called Once Upon a Child and I found two of these um like Chelsea boys um and one was 350 and one was 250 and I think they're so fun and I think it's really cool that um that these were in a thrift store also kind of sad because nobody like even took them out and enjoyed them but I will certainly enjoy them and we have two different ones and they're very cool but I'm gonna go ahead and take them out so that I can show them to you guys and I just think it's really interesting how there was so much new stuff at this thrift store, which is kind of sad, like I said, but also really fun because I get to enjoy them now. But the packaging is so easy to open. It just rips open, so I don't even really need to um, not look at it. But here's the first one, and he is so cute. He has um, like little jelly beans, or not jelly beans, gummy bears on his shirt. Um, multicolored gummy bears and he has blue shorts and white shoes and then he's got gorgeous green eyes um, and tan skin and brown hair and he's just so cute and so much fun and I'm really excited to have him and to have found him and then the next one um, let me just take him out super quickly it won't take me long at all he is so much fun too he's african-american and he has a really fun multicolored smiley face shirt with um blue shorts and I, this is actually a one piece um they're both oh they're both um like one pieces so it's not a shirt and pants it's sewn together and he has white high top sneakers which are really fun and he is just so cute and i don't have a lot of boy um kelly's or chelsea's so i'm very excited to have these especially with all their stuff and brand new and for such a good price, but I'm very excited about these two. And then the last um, package item that I found is another box Chelsea, and she is right here, and she's got this super fun, like, snow-themed outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and cut her open if I can, because she's in the chicken wire. I guess what they, because it is like a children's used, um, like, store, they don't want kids, like, coming in and messing up the merchandise. But I think putting them in bags, I mean, I guess kids can open the bags, but I think it's a little bit extreme. But she has been, like, removed from the package, but she is still, um, like, has all of her stuff. And she was only $4.50, which is crazy and very exciting. But um, she's just this really fun um, Chelsea who comes with a bunch of, like, snow, like, skiing equipment. And I will show that to you. She was very easy to take out of the package. Um, which is so nice, but here she is, and she is so cute, and she's in this little, like, snow outfit. She has this, um, like, blue pattern shirt with, um, an attached pink skirt. It's more just like a ruffle. She's got purple molded tights on, and then white shoes, which look like the same shoes as 
yeah, they're the same shoes as our friend here. And she has this adorable little blue hat on. And she is so pretty. She's got green eyes and dark. Um, she kind of looks like she could be brother and sister with this um, this guy. They look like they could be siblings. Very, very cute. I love her. She's so cool. And I'm so excited that I found her at a thrift store. It's crazy. And she came with um, little skis, which are pink. And poles to go with the skis. These little silver ones right here. And then um, there are also some goggles that are orange. So I think it's so fun that I have these cute little Kellys and Chelsea's, well, they're Chelsea's um, and Chelsea boys that are brand new that I got for such a good deal. Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Um, I don't really, this one does have a doll, but it also has accessories. So I guess I'll start with this one, but it's some sort of like frozen thing um and it was five dollars and fifty cents and i can tell that there's like an anna inside and also like an ice boat and then i think there's also like an olaf in there so i'm very very curious to see what what all is in here but i was very excited let's see here i think these packages are so difficult okay oh this is so fun okay so in the bag there is first this really cool like ice boat which is like Elsa's and it's pretty simple, but it has like a snowflake on it. And it's like this shimmery icy blue, um, which is cool. And then it comes also with this Olaf who needs to be put back together, but it's this cute little Olaf. Um, he's missing his little stick, his arms. Oh wait, there they are. So he was disassembled, but he has all of his, his arms. So I think, I don't know which way they go. I guess they would be Let's see. Okay, so now he's all together. There's a cute little Olaf figurine, and he actually, like, separates and comes apart, which is really fun, um, and his arms also come off, but it's this cute little Olaf figurine that's made of plastic and very realistic. And then there's also um, just, like, a little comb that has Olaf on it. It's purple. And then there is a Anna, um, like, petite mini doll in here, from Frozen 2, which is really cool that um, they came all together in like a full set. Um, but she's in great shape. She has her cape and her dress and her shoes, which are awesome. And she's in pretty good shape too. Her hair is a little bit um, in disarray, like it's kind of come out of its hairstyle, but the braids are still there and she's very, very cute. I think that these are called petites, like the, um, like the kind of doll, because the minis are like the really, really tiny ones that are like Polly Pocket size. And then I think these are called petites, but they're so, she's really pretty and I'm very excited because this is so much fun. And then I forgot to mention, but there is a hole in the boat and there's also a hole in Olaf so he can sit in the boat and then Anna can also sit in the boat with him and they can be in the boat together. And so this is just a fun little set and I'm very excited to have gotten it. Um, and then next are the dolls, and I think I'm going to show you guys the, like, the bigger dolls before I move into the regular dolls. So, the first one I'm very excited about because she's got all of her stuff, and it is Moana, and she was only $3.99 at a thrift store called America's Thrift Store. I've never been to it before. Um, I don't think they have them in, um, either Mississippi, Wisconsin, or Texas, which is why I've been thrifting. I've also been thrifting in Florida and in Georgia and I haven't been to any of them, but I think it's really, it's a, it was a really big store. Um, it was the second one I went to where all of the dolls were hung in bags on the wall. Um, and so I really enjoyed it and I found this Moana there and she's in great shape. Her hair is a little bit all over the place. It's very tangled, but I'm hoping to be able to fix it without having to like heat style it because then that means I'll have to recurl it. Um, but she looks very realistic to the movie and she has her necklace, which is molded on. Um, but then she also has her top and her skirt. So she has her outfit, which is most important, especially for toddler dolls, but she's very beautiful and I'm very excited. And for $3.99, I think that's a good deal considering she's already dressed and everything. And then next I found this doll at another, um, thrift store. So not the same one for $3 and 53 cents, which is an amazing deal for her. She's this beautiful snow white. I love her a lot. She has beautiful like, um, porcelain skin and she has even her tiara. So she has her tiara 
and her hair is not that bad at all. It's a little disheveled, but still not bad. And she even has her dress and her shoes. So that is very awesome that she has all of her stuff for only $3.53. And I do not have one that looks like this at all. And I think that she's very, very pretty. So I'm very excited to have her. And then she has the inset eyes, which I love. And she's just gorgeous. And my mom was actually the one who found her. And I was like, absolutely, yes, I want her. Um, and then I found this doll also at the like America's Thrift Store or whatever it's called. Um, and I do already have this one. This is Wonder Woman. Um, if you have seen my thrift store videos before, um, you might remember me getting one. But the one that I have, her hair is so, so incredibly damaged. Like if I'm able to fix it, it would take me a very long time and it still probably won't look, um, as good and this one's hair still is like not great at all but at least it's not just totally dreadlocked and chewed um and matted together um there's still like some parts that look pretty okay um and she was $3.99 and so I bought her because her hair is in a much more fixable condition um and even though she doesn't have her outfit the one that I found at the other thrift store in the past does so I'm probably just going to have this one and um, if you guys are still interested in me posting dolls to rehome on um, my YouTube and Instagram, I will probably be posting um, that other Wonder Woman up there for, I don't know, a few dollars in case you need a body or if you are interested in taking on the project of fixing her. But I got her for $3.99 um, just because she has better hair. Um, but yeah, I think she's very cute. And I'm excited to have one that is a little bit more fixable. Um, and now... I think what I'm going to do is save the rest of the regular dolls for part two. So you definitely are going to not want to miss the next part because this is where I will show you the like literal mountain of regular dolls that um, I found. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. There's a lot of really fun stuff in here. And um, it was a very fruitful thrift store trip. A lot of fun. And I will see you in part two. Stay tuned.